empower yourself with Today I Choose, where words turn into action and actions turn into reality. I'm Sherry Doyen, and I'll be accompanied by QT's own master of sound, Sydney Hemwell. So welcome to Today I Choose.
like our smoke alarm. Yeah. Now the problem is, is that we bring all that goo into our current circumstance, right? And we infect everything that could possibly be good with the old goo, right? That's the, the danger of swimming in the emotion, right? Analyzing it, using it, deciphering its information is different than being it, right? Way back to Buddha, step back from the emotion, right? So that you can see clearly and with discernment, right? Nobody can see clearly if we're right on top of a situation, yeah? And that's important. It's important for us to do this work and clean up our debris. Right? So that when we are walking forward, we can. It is possible to be in integrity. Right? Gandhi says, happiness is attainable when what you think, what you say, and what you do are in alignment. There's not a feel in that, if you notice. Right? The feelings are for you. The feelings are for you. Right? The feelings are so that you can become in authority of you. Right? And take ownership over your wants and needs. Right? And to say, you know, that's not acceptable for me. That's not blame. That action's not acceptable for me. Right? That's different than dumping a big pile of goo. Right? That's just saying, hey, please, don't do that again. Yeah? Right? And you have the right to do that. Today, you get to choose. But we can only do it when we're not being yanked backwards all the time. Right? Or we're getting entrenched in the information of what we think is true. And here's what I can say in my work with people every day. We're finding that their story and truth are rarely the same. Right? There are pebbles of truth. And there are a lot of adult stories that make it possible for us to t scotch tape everything together and be okay with status quo. Right? We also have to understand a lot of emotion is around being fair. Right? Justice. Right? We have to understand that true justice is a container with flexible edges. Right? In the garment world, in art, in most every creative aspect. There is a level of justice with flexible edges, right? A, a template with flexible edges, yeah? Right? That's justice. That's balance. And that's about you. Right? That's about you being in integrity in your corpus callosum and choosing whether you're going to interact with a chaotic situation or not. You have that choice, right? can turn the other cheek and walk that way, right? Turn and walk in a different direction, right? That's a choice. That's an action in the highest and best of you, right? Without a fight, yeah? You get to do that, right? You get to have justice without swimming in the emotion each time you choose. Now, we do recognize that there are some situations that are aft up, right? And you are in a current situation that you're trying to find your way out of, right? We get that, right? And I'd love nothing more than to help you find the straightest line through. It's what I would call the straightest line through to the highest and best of you and all that you love, right? But there's a collective of us out there that 
better swimming in the goo of 40 years ago. Right? We're swimming in that space of, you know, what we lost. With an inability to receive what we have. Right? And that's about you. That's about you creating justice for you. go back and and rectify those glitches yeah and we can give that child a space to grow up with understanding right and today right? today you get to live with the knowingness that you survived every bit of that right. you did that today isn't about surviving you already did that right they did that. They walked that journey, and you're standing at the end of it, in the emotion. It's time to get out, right? It's time to want out, right? Because you already did that, right? And you don't have to be sick anymore to be seen, right? You don't have to be ill to be recognized as powerful and brilliant, right? You are a highly sensitive being empath that is you right and that's something of an honor my friend right when we know who we are and we know how to untangle ourselves from that quantum entanglement yeah. so as we've been taking ownership of our body and our field today I want us to look at that word emotion right and we're going to make sure that these notifications are not plastered all over our bodies, right? So I want you to ground yourself in those feet, right? And we're going to get a beat going. And let's feel that reverberation coming up your, your legs as you're starting to recognize what those feet feel like when they're away. Right? When they're in action. Right? We're tired of thinking about it. This is about action, right? We've thought about it long enough. Right? That corpus callosum allows us to bring that meditative state into our waking world. Right? Being in the world and not of it. Right? That means operating real time. Right? You can only do that when your systems are in alignment. Right? So we're going to drop down through the crown of that head, taking ownership of that corpus callosum, right? This is the control room of all that you are, right? And we're going to get those hips going, right? We're going to let this body move, right? Close your eyes and just let your body move to this music, right? Sound medicine coming through, right? Raising vibration. Leaving the door open to understanding and possibility, right? Right? Now we're going to draw that energy behind your eyes back. And we're going to witness the switch flipping on in that corpus colossal the brain cells in your left brain, your right brain, right? We can see and witness those paths of information from your third eye, your eyes, your ears, right? Funneling into that corpus callosum, right? To be thought about creatively and logically. We're going to drop down and we're going to take ownership of that chest cavity. Right? Yeah. Feel that weight come in. That's you. Yeah? That's your astral body. Coming in, taking ownership. Now can witness that circuit dropping down and activating all the brain cells in your heart muscle. That's an expansion, right? Love with discernment. What a thought, right? The 
the love of one should never hurt another, ever.
right? You're testing your abilities, right? You're under taking your actions of amazingness off of autopilot, right? Taking ownership, right? So play with them. Have fun. See you next week for Today I Choose. Thank you so much for joining us here for Today I Choose, where words turn into action and actions turn into reality with the frequency of sound. I'm Sherry Doyan, and I was accompanied by Cutine Zone Master of Sound, Sydney Hemwell. See you next time for Today I Choose.